Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels. And if you guys are watching my video today, I have a very exciting mail to um, share with you. And it's exciting for me, and I, I hope it's exciting for you guys as well. But basically, I recently ordered something that I have been waiting for since March. I don't know, for whatever reason, it got lost in transit, and the shipping didn't update and say that it was on its way until the past week. And this is after I reached back out to the Etsy shop and told them, I don't know what happened to my package and since I called the post office directly and they had no record of him dropping off the package even though he knew he had done it, he figured it probably was stolen and he sent me another package. Long story short, I received the package from him yesterday and I received the duplicate package today which I then told the post office please take it back and I said return to sender, all that jazz because obviously I don't need two of the same things and I didn't pay for two so he gets one back. But anyway, I'm going to share with you guys a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful customized um, pin board that I recently had made for me. Uh, his shop is actually called Unique Cork and he is on Etsy. He's actually really responsive. Um, my relationship online hasn't been bad. It's just been constant communication so I do really appreciate that and it wasn't his fault that the package got lost. Um, the post office has been so crazy lately. So I know that he has a lot of different designs on his website that he can do in different designs of a pin board in different sizes as well. And he also does custom design. So if you don't see something that you're looking for, he can whip something up. I actually asked him about a Little Mermaid design and he sent me something back in the next day, which I was like this close to getting. But as you guys can see, I have my main um, Little Mermaid pin board behind me. I just have too many pins right now to feature on a customized stylized pin board. So it's going to stay behind me, but I do have this one that I'm going to show you really quickly. And then I'm going to go into some beautiful... First, let's get into this. So again, the name of the company is Unique Cork. It arrived in a huge box wrapped in bubble wrap. And then this is the interior package. And you can see um, right here he has a little card, business card and some information on how to place the board down and keep it secure. So I will look at that afterward. It also says cut or peel tape to remove um, and be careful not to cut the board because this was all taped. I've already done that, so I'm just gonna go right into it. I haven't actually taken too much of a peek yet, but it looks pretty much on board what I had requested. So here we go. And this is actually one of the designs that he does have featured on his Etsy shop page. So you can see it. I just asked to have it custom painted in silver. And this is cool. This is my very first cut out customized pin board. And I do have a Disney princess. Um, I do have a Disney castle collection, which I've mentioned before on my channel. And I'm going to transfer all those pins, which were on the opposite wall, onto this. And you guys can see that from future um, videos. But this is what it looks like. I have a custom pin board in the shape of the Cinderella castle. I love it. I think this is really nice. And he painted the sides as well. I'm just taking a quick look at that. So yeah, this is great. The, the paint does extend on the side, so no side is left untouched. And then the back, you can see, was just a regular um, cardboard backing for this board. It's pretty thick. This is the thickness that is coming through. So I cannot wait to transfer my pins onto this board. And to start out, I actually have a mess. I don't know how much of that's coming out on camera, a lot of it. I have a bunch of pins that I just went through through my trades um, for my separate video, and that's currently sitting up there waiting to be sorted through. But I have my Cinderella Castle pin that came from Shop Disney recently, and let's see if we can christen this pin board by putting none other than the castle on the castle pin board, because that's so original, right, guys? All right, let's do it. Carefully take my pin off of the backing card. I'm still pretty amazed that my pin arrived in pristine condition since so many people got this and it was broken. Still, like, I just can't believe my luck with that one. But here we go. Gonna place it right in the center. Okay, so I can already feel that this is a pretty good custom board because um, when you get the... U brand, I think it is called the U brand pin boards from Target. They kind of stick. Like when you put your pin post in, you have to give it a little bit of give. And I'm afraid that after some time, it could break your pins. Actually, I do have one pin that did break, and it probably was from that pin board. And I've heard the same from other people as well. This one actually has a nice, gentler touch. Um, so I appreciate that because I don't like having to take them out and in a lot and with the fear of breaking your pin. But this is the pin on pin board. 
there you go. So, awesome! Awesome custom look, and I think this is great. I actually got the larger size of this one, if you guys are wondering. There were two different sizes that he listed on his website. I could have changed the dimensions based on my wall, but the larger one, the larger you go, obviously, the more money um, the product is. So I didn't want to spend too much more than this, but this was a splurge, and I'm excited for my bigger pin board to put in the background. It's going to be like right here in future videos or so. But yeah, love it. So here's a close up of the pin board now that it has been rearranged. And I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. So I'm just gonna do a quick overview of every single pin that I included. And I guess I will start um, over here. So at the base, I kind of separated it um, just like my old pin board used to be. And it's a separation of Walt Disney World versus Disneyland. So I'll start with Walt Disney World. I have up here this home pin that is from the um, booster pack that came out uh, last year. And I freaked out when I saw the version from Walt Disney World because I was just very excited to see the home pin that was representing Magic Kingdom. Definitely feels like my home, so I love that pin. Underneath there, I have the Magic Kingdom sign pin, also from the same set. It does say welcome, which if you've been to Magic Kingdom, you'll know that that's just like the actual attraction, so it's pretty cool. Next to the Magic Kingdom sign, I have this Tiny Kingdom pin. It is the Enchanted Rose, which I recently got via trade. Thought that would be appropriate since you can go into the Be Our Guest restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Right next to that, I have an Epcot pin, and this is an open edition pin, also part of a booster pack that one point had and it represents Epcot um, by having the Spaceship Earth Ball and Figment. Figment is together here with the little um, other small Figment collection. I'll get to that in a second, but there's the My Epcot pin. This is the Magic Kingdom pin from that same booster set, and it's Mickey Mouse in front of Cinderella's Castle. It says Magic Kingdom. Love that. Um, this is a uh, fantasy pin. This is actually my only, or one of my only pins I have from Pin Bake Shop that's not in the shape of a cake, because that's what she's known for. Um, it does say 1982 on top, which is when um, Epcot opened, uh, and that's you have Spaceship Earth, and this is in the form of a postage stamp, so part of their Magic Mail series that she came out with. This is another fantasy pin. This is an Epcot-inspired uh, Polaroid camera. You can see the Hidden Mickey there in the center, as well as on the top, and you can see the Spaceship Earth design in the background of this Polaroid camera. And when you snap it out, it does reveal the portrait to be Spaceship Earth itself. So that's another cool little feature from um, from this particular seller. She has these cameras in different designs, and I happen to have this one as well as another one I think is on this board as well. Um, up there in my purple collection, I'll get to that. But then you have the Figment uh, collection continued over here. This is a open edition pin, Hidden Mickey, that says Grateful. You have this one I recently got via trade that has a uh, figment in the form of Spaceship Earth with the Hidden Mickey there in the bottom. This is actually one of the first pins that I traded for. It's figment um, on a purple magic band. There's a Hidden Mickey there and the shape of his body. This could very well be fake. Um, but it's one of the first pins that I got as part of my collection, so that's why I keep it. And then more recently in my um, 20... 20 January trip, I had this I Collect Figment pin. I am looking for the new one, the I Collect Princesses. I don't have that yet, so if you have it and you want to trade, let me know. But this is the Figment one. You can see there is the Hidden Mickey window with Figment's face inside. It's like a little like carry case, so it has a carry strap. This one down here does say I Collect Figment pins, because each I Collect series will say what it is. And then you've got the Disney pin trading logo right there. And when you open it up, the little case reveals a bunch of different designs that represent figment. So you have a paint palette, a paint bucket, um, this cool little Epcot S design. You've got both of his wingspans right there. Uh, figment is across the uh, tube of paint right there. You've got a paintbrush. You've got figment um, over here that says pin celebration 2002. Uh, you've got figment front and center. You've got this cool like pop art uh, text over here that does say Figment as well. It's kind of hard to get this to focus in the camera. Um, and then you've got a butterfly down there, a light bulb with his wings flying away, and then this cool little um, rainbow that says Imagination. So a lot of fun detail went into this pin, and since I do collect Figment, it's one of the only I collect ones that I did want to add to my personal collection. I also recently got this one via trade, and it's Figment holding a paintbrush. So that's also cool. 
Um, and then this is one of my most recent acquisitions from the International Festival of the Arts. Um, you can see that right there. So it's 2020. Figment Color Co. And it is Figment in front of the Spaceship Earth ball. And it's painted in purple. We've got hints of pink and purple all over this particular pin. And it's 3D, so Figment is popped out in front of it. So that is also very, very cool. Adding to my little purple pin collection over here. Purple, pur purple, purple, um, purple. And I skipped this one. This is a, another Hidden Mickey pin. It's the Spaceship Earth Ball from Epcot with a monorail in front of it. All these really fun. Got that via trade as well. Um, down here, I have a couple more pins. This is actually another Grape Soda Club pin. Same creator made these two pins. And it's a spinner pin. That represents World Showcase. You've got all the different 11 pavilions represented. You can see it there. It says Germany, UK, France, Japan, China. The U.S. Um, this one is Morocco. I recently went on a live and the person I was with, he was like, get rid of Morocco. I was like, no. Um, you have Italy, you have Mexico, and then you have Canada over here. So I do like that it has all the countries represented. This is Norway. My camera's starting to heat up, so it's starting to not focus. Sorry about that, guys. But what's cool is that this particular pin, in addition to showing all 11 um, pavilions from Epcot. It actually does spin with the Epcot ball in the center and it says eat and drink. So depending on where it lands, you might eat in Morocco and you might drink, drink right there, in Germany. And it basically says eat and drink around the world. So that is a really cool feature of this particular pin. I actually showed this to my husband the other day and he was like, wow, it's actually kind of unique. So I got my husband into pins, guys. Hey, this is something. We're moving forward. We're moving forward. <laughs> he never cared before. Um, the next thing on this pin board is, of course, the Cinderella Castle, part of the, this is the first one of the bi-monthly series they just came out with last month. And this part of the spires right here, it does pop out. I love that 3D effect of the castle. And what's unique about these castle pins is that they will showcase rooms that have never before been seen inside each of the castles. In this one, you can see the interior of Cinderella Castle, the different rooms that are in the screen print art, and it's just really, really pretty in terms of the pop of color. And I just think that's a really gorgeous, gorgeous design. So of course I had to put the castle pin on my castle pin board, right? Um, and the very last pin down here is a pass holder pin. This is an annual pass holder pin that I got um, from the Disney shop, my Disney shop. Online, I purchased this one. This is an annual pass holder exclusive, otherwise, from 2018, and you can see it has all the different countries represented on the very top, sort of like my fantasy pin, and this is the official version from Walt Disney World that they sold in 2018 as part of the International Food and Wine Festival. And when I open it up, it does say the Food and Wine logo is right there, so you can see it's definitely Im it's embossed in the actual pin itself, and then you've got Figment as a chef. Yay, Figment. So I love that. I love seeing Figment in different forms. So I definitely wanted to get this pin added to my collection. Um, down here, I have a couple open edition pins. This is from Epcot. They've got Goofy in a test track vehicle. You've got Figment hanging up up here in the little paraglider. And then you've got Mickey Mouse dressed like an astronaut representing Mission Space. All the different attractions that you can find in Epcot. And the only thing that is unique, I guess, about this pin besides the cool different rides represented is that Figment does move. I love pins that move. Um, this is an autograph book, and you can see it's got the Mickey pen on the side. I might have to take that out. But you've got a little hidden Mickey pen right there, and I do have an autograph book that matches this. It says official autograph book, and you've got Goofy, Donald, Mickey, Minnie, um, Daisy, and Pluto represented on the front of this pin. And when you open it up, and there you can see that it has different icons, the park icons behind them. There's the sorcerer hat, there's a castle, there's the ball, and the tree of life. And when you open it up, it reveals all the different autographs from each of the characters. So I love that. I really like this one it says, your pal, Mickey Mouse. And it's just really, really cute to see the autographs of your favorite characters um, of the Sensational Six represented on a pin. So that is why I have that one is part of my collection. This is actually the only non-official pin in this little section right here. This is a fantasy pin from the sh shop Enchanted Thoughts Club. It's a shape of Mickey with the bubblegum wall art on top of it. That, that was a really cute little pin. This pin I actually saw from my friend Shasta a couple years back and I was able to finally get it. It's got Mickey Mouse in the center gate. It says Walt Disney World on the bottom and 
when you open up the gate, sorry, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. When you open up the gate, it reveals the castle on the inside as well as Mickey holding a bunch of balloons. So that is a fun little design. I love the gates of Walt Disney World. Whenever I see them, it always brings me such excitement. So it's fun to have that commemorated in pin form. And that I believe is all the pins on this particular side, um, except for this one up here, so let me keep going. This is another Walt Disney World pin. It says 2018. It's got all four parks represented there. They're icons, and I like that. So that's what why that's part of my Walt Disney World collection. This is part of the same pin set with the home that I freaked out about. This is the balloon set, the balloon pin from that particular set. So I have that as part of this pin collection. This is an open edition Mickey balloon um, the pin that you can get in the park says Walt Disney World. This is one of the hidden Mickey pins that came out last year. I was able to trade for that. This is a Walt Disney World hidden Mickey pin as well with Tinkerbell on it. I was able to trade for that. This is from Grape Soda Club, the same person that did um, this pin and this pin. And this is a cool pin that she has with the chains holding up, held up by the balloons. And you've got the castle right down there. This is actually one of the very first pins I ever got. Um, before I was pin collecting, I was given this for free. And it's the Walt Disney World bedazzled pin. I really like that. Really was able. To, I was really glad that I was able to hold on to that pin until I was actually able to appreciate pins. Now it's part of my pin collection. And at the very top, I have an official... Disney Parks Spinner Pin. This is from Walt Disney World and it has the four park icons. You've got the, was, was the Sorcerer Hat back then as well as Rock and Roller Coaster. Um, over here you have Epcot with the monorail connected between the Spaceship Earth Ball and then the Cinderella Castle. And then you also have Space Mountain right next to the castle because that is definitely a Magic Kingdom icon. And over here you've got the Tree of Life and a little vehicle representing Kilimanjaro Safari. So a lot of different detail on this pin. Then you've got Mickey and Minnie holding hands. It's just really cute and I like that this is a fun spinner pin. So definitely wanted to add that to my personal collection. Over here, and this is my Disneyland section. So in my Disneyland section, I do have a Disneyland pin, just like I had the Walt Disney World up there. This is an open edition pin that you could get at any point. It does say Disneyland and has blue and it's very sparkly. I thought that was a cute pin. Um, next to that, I have the Club 33 pin that I recently traded for. It's an exclusive to going to Club 33, which used to be just in, in Disneyland. Now it's also in Epcot, but that's okay. Someday I will get to the original Club 33. I hope, I hope, I hope. So if someone was able to get this pin to me, I thought it was a really unique pin and definitely wanted to add that to my collection. So I was happy to get a hold of that one. Underneath that is a, these two pins are actually from the Disney, Walt Disney Travel Company. Yeah. These are pins that come on lanyards that you stay at a Disneyland resort. Um, this is one of the perks of staying in an official Disneyland resort is that you usually get one of these pins with the lanyard. I've never stayed in a Disneyland resort ever, official resort yet, um, because they're kind of expensive and I live here, so it kind of doesn't make sense in a way, maybe someday, but um, I was happy to get both of these pins via trade. This is one of those pins that was released um, part of the Disneyland Diamond Celebration for the 60th anniversary. Five years ago, we are coming up on the 65th next year. Hopefully the parks are open again to enjoy that. But on the inside is a bunch of little diamond sparkles. Um, I do have the Disneyland balloon as well. Just, just like I had the Walt Disney World version, I have the Disneyland version over here. This is a purple um, pin. This is also part of the Polaroid pin series I mentioned from Grape Soda Club earlier. And I just happen to like lavender, so that's why I have this. Um, the inside actually just shows a castle. And it could be either castle, which is why I have it on the Disneyland side. Um, then following next to this Disneyland Diamond Celebration, I also have this Disneyland Diamond Celebration pin. You can see the Disney D with a diamond encased around it. And when you open it up, it has Mickey in front of a railroad because Walt Disney was very much a fan of railroads. So I love this particular pin. Um, very similar to that design. They came out with this design this year. This is a new series they're coming out with at the Disney parks. And it just has Mickey on the inside with the castle behind him. This was released in January. I was very happy to add that when I went to my January trip to Walt Disney World. Um, this is part of the same set, the booster set. Like I mentioned over here, I was very excited to see this home set, Walt Disney World, and that was part of that. Um, I have a couple more pins from Disneyland here. I think I like the Disneyland version a little bit better because of the colors. Um, but this particular pin says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. This is a sign that you might have seen if you come to the parks, and I just love that classic 
look, which is why it's on here. Um, I also have this one, which is the Disneyland sign. It says entrance, park, and hotel. You do see that when you go to enter the parks here in California. And then you've got little Mickey balloons on top of that. So I just happen to love this particular set. And then this was also part of that set that says home, and it is a Disneyland castle. So as you can see, I have all four pins from that booster set um, that was released from Disneyland because I love it. Um, over here is actually one of the state's pins, part of the American Adventure pins boxes that were so prevalent last year. They're so expensive though. Um, so after a, a point of collecting those, I just decided to go ahead and purchase this one from eBay. I really, really wanted this one from representing California where I live currently. So it's Mickey and Minnie in a vehicle with a bunch of surfboards, so true. Um, you can see that it has different icons as well. You've got redwood trees, you've got the um, Golden State Bridge from um, San Francisco. You've got a movie um, reel, movie camera that represents movie, making movies in LA, in Hollywood. And then right there it says California, representing the state. So I really do like this particular pin. was very happy I was able to find that one on eBay for a decent price. This is an open edition. This is an open edition pin that was sold last year. Um, it does say 2019, estimated 1955. Got Mickey in front of the Sleeping Beauty Castle. Somebody actually put this on a trading pin board and I was so shocked. And of course I had to trade for this one for that reason. Um, this is one of the 2018 uh, teacup pins. I recently got this as part of a trade with Alyssa Lefferson and Garrett. They had this pin. I had once ago had that pin and traded it. So I was very happy to get that one back. This one is the partner statue pin that I happen to love. It's got the classic characters. You've got Donald holding a Mickey bar. You've got Goofy holding a camera. And there's a little uh, Mickey balloon in the background as well. And then you've got the partner statue right here. So I just thought it was a really fun little unique pin. Because you can see the partner statue so prominently in Disneyland, and I always think of it more in that park versus in um, Florida. That's why that's in the Disneyland section. Um, same thing with the teacups. I always go on the teacup ride in Disneyland versus in Disney World. That's why it's over here. Um, also in my Disneyland section, I have a couple of snacks. I eat a lot of popcorn in Disneyland because this is when I'm usually getting popcorn buckets. So over here I have a Tiny Kingdom um, popcorn stand. This is actually from the D23 uh, uh, original release. And I know these are pins to go for so much money. This is the only one that I kept from that collection though because I happen to like the little hot popcorn sign. You can see the pins are really tiny so they're hard to focus in. Um, Next to that, I have a Hidden Mickey churro pin that I was recently able to trade for. Below that, I have another, um, this is a fantasy pin, and I believe Benny Mouse Shop actually made this, and it represents the, both the night version and the daytime version of the Cinderella Castle. You can see the sun and the moon, and it's all one castle together. I really like that design. Two pin set from Benny Mouse Shop. Shout out to her. Nope, oh, I have some other pins on the side. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, sneak peek. Um, this is a pin that you get from the Walk in Walt's Footsteps um, tour that you can do in Disneyland. It's an exclusive tour that they have in Disneyland where you get to see kind of where Walt put his mark on the parks. And when you take that that tour, they give you this pin, which has this plaque, so awesome, and the signage here that has a quote, and it says, I think what I want Disneyland to be made of, to be most of all, is a happy place where adults and children can experience together some of the wonders of life. Such an amazing quote. And then this over here has like a plaque. I love the design on here. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. And it just says to relive the fond memories. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. I love that. That's from the Disneyland dedication in 1955. And so they have commemorated that in this pin form, such a unique, cool pin, which is why it's on this pin board. This is one of the um, park badge pins. This is probably the only one that I really want to keep from all the ones that I opened, which is why I have it on my castle collection. It says Disney Park Badge, and it has Mickey and Minnie in front of the main building in the front. So it does say park, rope drop, which is such an important part of if you want to go on all as many rides as possible. Rope drop will eventually be part of your Disney Parks experience, and you can see this was a limited release pin that came out at some point um, last year, and of course I made sure I got a couple boxes, and this is the only one that I really, really loved from the ones I got, anyway. This is a pin that was exclusive to um, Disney Visa card holders. On the bottom it does say, if I can get that to focus, it says Disney Rewards, actually, which is part of the rewards. Uh, part of being a Disney Visa holder, but 
you can see it's a pin of Woody on top of Bullseye with a bunch of clouds in the background. I think it's a cool Toy Story pin. And because this was exclusive to the card holders, I thought this was a fun pin to get my hands of. And when I go into um, the Frontierland part, I always think about them. In Disneyland, that's why it's on this part of the board. Um, this is another pin that I happened to recently get, and I love it. It all was, it was all started with, and it has Mickey Mouse here. If you look closely in this picture, those are the eyes and dentation of Walt's face right there. It's kind of a creepy look if you don't think about it, but he's always watching you. He's always watching you. You've got the sparkles, and it's a hinge pin, so it does open. So I open both sides. I can see I've got, you know, Mickey in different forms, and, you know, You have Mickey in his classic forms. It says Walt Disney in the center with both Walt looking at Mickey. And I just really like how Mickey is such a prominent part of this pin. So it's a very fun one indeed. And I was very excited to add this one to my pin collection. This is an open edition pin that you can get. And I just happen to love that it has the castle prominently in front from Sleeping Beauty. Then it has Walt's face in this like bronze plaque. And then of course it has a nice quote. It's kind of fun to do the impossible with his signature. So if you are a Disney buff or a Disneyland buff or a Walt Disney buff, which I am, that's why I really wanted to have all these like Walt-esque pins and they're all on this pin board. This is actually another cool pin. This is one of those piece of Disneyland history pins and this is the guided tour building. It does say guided tours up there. Um, and then this little thing, I forget what it's supposed to be. It's a piece of bark. Um, each of these piece of Disneyland histories has something inside. You can see the piece of wood with the Disney D and Mickey. And on the back, it tells you, it says, contains a piece of the shingles from the guided tour building. There you go. So limited edition of 2000, and this is a shingle from the building itself. Kind of awesome. And finally, to round out this little particular section, I have another Walt Disney Travel Company pin right here. It's an older style one with the fireworks over the castle and Mickey Mouse. So that's next to this section. And then I have the Cinderella pin that I got from a live pin sale. And you don't often see Cinderella in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle, so that's why I liked it. There's Sleeping Beauty Castle in the back, so it's Disneyland. And she's kind of 3D popped up in front, says Cinderella, so that's fun. And then this whole like centerpiece of my pin board here is a Mickey postcard silhouette that I got from Tokyo Disney, personal shopper. It does say Tokyo Disney on it a couple of times, but it also has Walt Disney World and Disneyland represented on here. So I like that it has all the different parks as well as fun like portraits and old posters from the park. So it's a very nice classic, classic, classic pin um, or classic portrait postcard to have. Um, I didn't show this one before, but this is a Cinderella castle pin. It says family pin collecting 2004. It's got Cinderella and Prince Charming and they also have like the butler or whatnot in front of the castle. So that's a cool pin and that's part of the Disney World side. So that's all those pins. I'm now going to go to the top and keep on continuing. And I'll start right here. I just have a couple different pins that represent Hollywood Studios. That used to be my favorite park before I became such an Epcot buff. So I do have a special place in my heart for it. That's why I have this Box Lunch Slinky Dog pin here represented. I have another one of those Pin Bake Shop postcard series pins. Magic Mail says 1989, the year that the Hollywood Studios opened with the Magic Hat represented here. This is one of those um, open edition booster pack sets, um, pins that I got that says Hollywood Studios with Minnie Mouse. I don't love this pin, but because she's in front of Tower of Terror, I keep it. I just don't like her lips on the top, the side of her mouth like that. They're kind of weird to me. I don't know why I get so bothered by that, but I do. Um, over here is a pin that I recently traded for. I already had this one from the parks, but now I have another Tower of Terror pin. They both do different things. Um, if I move this out, you can see suddenly they become a ghostly replica of themselves because they have been part of the Twilight Zone. And if I do this one, this one has a little dial in the back. It says Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. You've got them all screaming down here, but the little dial in the back that allows you to move them up and down. So if I move it up, you can see that they're perfectly fine here. So they're in normal form right there, but if I move them back down, suddenly they're terrified. So that's a cool little pin. It says Service Elevator. And given that Tower of Terror is my favorite ride, I definitely wanted to have this added to my pin collection. This is another pin I was able to trade for. It says Hollywood Studios, and it's got like a nice like, you know, um, one of the clappers <laughs> from the movie industry that I love. Um, I do have this Hidden Mickey Tower of Terror um, uniform pin right on top of that. I have this Big Thunder 
Mountain Railroad attraction pins. This is more of my attraction section that I have here. I don't have too many attractions pins, so I did put them here. This is Big Thunder. It's an open edition pin, and the train does slide along this track, and it's got the gang in there. Um, you guys can see that right there. There's Goofy and Mickey. Above that is a Haunted Mansion Hidden Mickey pin that I was able recently able to trade for. Above that is another pin I was traded for, which is the... Um, the small world version. I love this pin so much. Love the colors and I love that it's the small world uh, Attraction from California, which is prettier than the one in Florida. No offense to anyone who has never been on either But the one in California is cooler looking um, Then you have the home pin that this came from the recent Disney store They had a three pin set. I do like that it says home right there came with that pin and this one as well Just like the Mickey Mouse Kateer hat Love both those pins. This is the pin I also traded it for. It's Mickey Mouse, a nice red prominent design. This is also from Enchanted Thoughts Club, another small shop, says the mountains are calling. And I like that it has three of the mountain rides um, replicated here because I love these rides. Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and Splash Mountain will always go on those. So very happy to have that in pin form. This is a Big Thunder Mountain pin. You can see it's a little bit different from this one because this is an American pin and this one actually is from Japan. So that's their version of it with Goofy, and I happen to like this pin because it reminds me of the Disneyland game that I played in the um, 90s that was based off of the Tokyo Disney Park. And this is a Space Mountain pin from the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction pin collection that came out in January. Thanks to my friend Christine, she was able to trade this one for me. I just wanted this particular pin, and I love the sparkles on it. Love that ride. And then over here, I finally have my last Enchanted Thoughts Club pin, and it is representing the new Galaxy's Edge Star Wars Land Coke. It says, enjoy Coca-Cola in the cool font they use on the Coca-Cola bottle sold in Galaxy's Edge. And I just happen to think this is such a cool pin in the form of BB-8. When I saw this online, I knew that I wanted to order that one. And that is pretty much my castle pin board. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. I have a lot of unique, a lot of unique little pins on here. Um, and this is just one part of my pin collection. I've been waiting to show you guys this for a while and it's just a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope to continue to add to my castle pins because it's definitely a collection that I hope to continue to grow.